Born and raised in Mombasa, Kenya, this is Stanislaw Trebinsky, a 25-year-old bronze sculptor delivering pieces that are both unique and powerful. Now living in Cape Town, Stanislaw is one of Africa's most promising young sculptors. I consider myself, if you would, a child of Africa. Um, and so, you know, a lot of that um, comes through within my work. In my weekends were spent on safari with my mother and father. I lost my father when I was nine years old, and he was also an artist. And basically, a lot of my passion of my art came through, I suppose, like therapy to get closer to him um, in times when I felt that he was not around. And I suppose that you could also say that's why I have such a prolific body of work, is because, you know, not only the fact that it makes me feel close to him, but I also feel that, like, I, need, I wanted to make him proud. Trebinsky is back with his latest solo exhibition, Ortus, that explores man's connection with the natural world. Ortus in, in Latin translated basically means origins or beginnings. Um, and he's the namesake of the show. So basically, in a way, he's kind of like the, the messenger. Uh, and, and the shards that kind of fall behind his arms are almost like you know, the energy that he's emitting and kind of getting people to take note. Well, basically, this is uh, it's the last five years of my life in this room. Um, the sculptures range from basically, you know, that beginning of the period where you see all the smaller sculptures all the way to the big sculptures that you see in here, which are obviously the most recent ones that I've done. This body of work basically encompasses, you know, the male and female figures that I've used um, and disguised them or set them within a field uh, that's you know one one that one would find in coral or natural you know in, in nature to see it like this really has made me realize how much work I've actually done um, and of course I'm extremely proud of it but to me it doesn't feel like work I mean this is like you know it feels it's like breathing I mean it, it comes so naturally and I love what I do and I'm blessed to have that I've used my work in such a way that you know a lot of artists would just do it for self gain but as as much as I like to make a living it's also more about for me it's more about the messages that I'm portraying and, and what I would like to say in my work and that is really to start a conversation about the fragility of the natural world um, and you know like our responsibility as the, the dominant species on this planet to you know kind of take care of it and stop being so selfish really. Trebinsky's consistent and powerful stream of work is rapidly attracting a growing clientele of international collectors and art enthusiasts and by looking at his sculptures it's easy to understand why he's become one of Africa's most promising young artists. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.